Yeah, and you had this great illustration um, that was written about by a British anthropologist who I believe became prime minister, if I recall, if I could be wrong. The the town uh, near Anatolia in Turkey, I can never pronounce its name. Uh, and took, a t- a yeah, yeah. And how they lived in these like, like uh, these pit houses of this absolutely hellacious forest urbanization with polluted rivers. Uh, Bap, you know, he recently had the, the he read that account about Mer- how Marseille was uh, before World War II. It was just a, uh, you know, hive of filth and prosties yeah. and, uh, and, and really the stark uh, ritualization of uh, that, that they developed out of this sort of like very brutish existence. How, I believe the what was the name of Ludo Lud, Ludlock or the the oh, British anthem um, Lubbock Lubbock yeah and I believe he did become prime minister if I recall right or uh, Poss- possibly possibly yeah I think he was I think he was a politician yeah 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 and how he talked about that they literally subverted uh, the sort of like ritualization around reproduction. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Ma- imagine my shock nowadays what's happening right like, yeah well exa- exactly so so living in these these hellish conditions of forced urbanization early forced urbanization um very obviously had a had a terrible effect on the mental the mental um the mental lives of the inhabitants oh i mean Sh- chattel hoyak is an is an amazing site and yeah uh it's it's really essential for understanding the transition from Hunter gathering to uh, fixed agriculture, to fixed agricultural states. Um, but yes, you have these you have these amazing murals depicting all of these bizarre scenes, and you have um, scu- these sculptures and strange half human, half animal hybrid figurines. And there's the seated woman of Chatelhoyuk, which is one of these sort of Venus figures, you know, these very sort of fat yeah. uh, women, and she's seated and she's got two uh, panther on either side of her, and it's their their tails are wrapping around her arms, and it's all sort of strange, strange kind of strange sexuality involved, and um, yeah, it's it, it's a nightmare, it's a nightmare, and it and it's and it's impossible really to look at it and think anything else. It's impossible to think to look at that place and think, oh, this must have been a nice place to live. This must have been, you know, great great for the inhabitants. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not a uh, you're you're not fertility goddess pilled. You're not Renault pill, Renault fault. Uh, you're not uh, oh, the <laughs> particular uh, thick ladies. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I unfortunately have their a... place. But. Yeah, they have their place. I mean, I I'm a fan of uh, the thicker women, but no, it, but it's funny though because you parallel th- th- this sort of early forced urbanization with the realities that were like the sort of like high tech reverberations of that nowadays, where it's like the fake meat thing that was fascinating, mm-hmm. by the way. Like the fact that like it probably causes more environmental degradation and more like advanced, uh, unsustainable processes to make fake meat than it is to just like I eat actual meat. Which is another thing too is like, like that's what happened back in the day with the, the the first what you call the first Great Reset. It's like the sort of expenditure of resources to keep these people urbanized is greater than any potential benefit. But then it's like what motivates people to do it. There's obviously something almost like uh otherworldly in the way that power operates in that sense and uh, yes yeah no i was, I was just going to say yes i mean the the way that the way that the first states were sustained was through basically through constant warfare because the you know the the death the death toll from the the terrible conditions from crowding epidemic diseases malnutrition um and also decreased fertility because of all of those things were, were such yeah. that um, yeah. you, know, you 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 were constantly at war, looking and and all wars really were were, were like big slaving raids basically. So pretty much, you, yeah, yeah. You weren't you weren't looking to kill your enemies. You were looking to enslave as many of them, and certainly the women and children, as many as possible. Um, and impregnating the women is another big mm, part of it. Yeah. So it's um, yes, I mean there, there there are all sorts of there are all sorts of parallels with the Neolithic Revolution. Um, I mean, I did a, I did a, an advert for Man's World where I um, uh, had a picture from 
Chatelhoyuk of of one of the rooms, and the caption was something like, you know, welcome, welcome to the original Bug Pod. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. Like Sh- Sh- Chatelhoyuk yeah. was the original Bug Pod, um, eating fake meat and uh, yeah, yeah, well, well brain eating, slop, eating brain slop, and and just you know being a uh, doing some mindless job and and living in a in a pod and all that kind of stuff. Um, the 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 resemblances the similarities aren't superficial at all and that that that's why I wanted to that's why I wanted to talk about the the Neolithic Revolution in such detail that's why I, you know did a whole chapter on it because I think that it uh, in in many respects is a is a vision of of the hell to come if we're unfortunate enough uh, to live through it yeah yeah. This has been another clip from a very exciting episode of Content Minded. To access all full episodes, please go to patreon.com slash Productions if you enjoy what you are hearing. I upload every single episode in full and uncensored, as well as extra bonus content such as my Giant Reviews series, where I review very interesting texts you will receive at different tiers, artwork, There will be exclusive articles and all sorts of content. The content renaissance is only made possible by all of my beautiful listeners and patrons. Thank you once again for listening. And as I always say, God bless and goodbye.